vlog series for the trip. It is currently just about after 7 in the morning. Um, I'm trying to be a little bit quiet because you can see the guys had a bit of a had a bit of a bender last night. They didn't get home to the room until about 2 in the morning and probably didn't pass out until close to 4. So yeah, they um, they're pretty fucked. Um, not to mention it pretty much was like someone may have shot themselves. That's just me. Um, currently sending out a text to whoever might be awake, see if anybody wants to get some breakfast and things like that, but uh, I wouldn't be surprised if most of these guys won't be walking until closer to noon, but we'll see what happens. Hey guys, well, it's about an hour or so later, I'm heading over, back over to the Tropicana to meet up with my parents, because we are going over to the Cosmopolitan to eat at a nice little restaurant. Uh, I don't want to say the name just yet because it could be demonetizable via YouTube, but the rest of the guys are all just sleeping and everything like that, so I figured I'd have a nice breakfast. Possibly think of maybe going back later for an early swim. After that, I'm not sure what the rest of the plans are, but we'll see what happens. Alright guys, so about an hour later since I first talked to you guys, since it took about that long to get down, and we are at the Cosmopolitan. Sorry for the music, it's a little bit loud, it's pretty loud and funky in this place. Just got finishing ordering our meal at, uh, well for YouTube's sake I won't say it, but uh, Egg. that's the name of the joint. Um, so yeah, so as you guys see we got ourselves um, sauce, egg and cheese, we got a Farfax, which is like, uh, you know, bacon, things like that, it's some good, and some hash browns. So, looks pretty good. Uh, let me just get by this hash brown, because, uh, what are these, duck fat or something like that? Duck fat and truffle. Duck fat and truffle. There ain't many of those, like four. Oh, those are good though. They are good. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah, I see it. I'll just do this. Alright. Hey, Mom. Yeah. Come on, hold on and get me on the shot so I can. This way? Yeah, point this way so I can get my sandwich. So mine is the sauce, egg, and cheese, turkey sausage with an egg. Looks nice. Didn't realize it was a soft serve. Ooh, look at the egg flow. That's really good. Probably why you need to leave it in the bag. Yeah. Probably why you need it in the bag now. Hey, what's going on, guys? A uh, bit of an update. It's about 2 in the afternoon. Just got back from swimming and everything like that. Everyone, really guys are feeling great and refreshed. Uh, just gonna shower up, get rid of the old chlorine smell, get dressed, and we're going to be heading down to Old Vegas, which I don't think I cover, I ever recorded anything in the last series two years ago, so this will be some new footage for you guys, so again, uh, probably the next time you guys will see, we'll be down in Old Vegas. As you can see, we've made it down to the uh, Old Vegas. Currently, I believe we're either in Vermont Casino or the Cirque. One of the two, you know the, how it is with Vegas. A lot of casinos just mash up together. Anyway, right now I'm currently standing outside Benny's smoking. Uh, here, hold on, let me plug this so you guys can see it straight. Benny's smoking a barbecue and brews. Uh, just waiting on for some of the guys. Uh, for the rest of the guys to get here, gonna be watching here, having some good grub, watching the Reds game, things like that. So it's gonna be a good time. Uh, as you guys can see, I'm a little bit slurring my words right now. Uh, that's mostly because of the fact that thanks to the guys, I haven't done anything since 8 in the morning. You know, that's why I had breakfast at, you know, um, that location, if you guys know what I'm talking about. And unfortunately, I've had about 48 ounces of frozen daiquiri from then. Since I haven't eaten since this morning breakfast, I'm kind of tipsy, not going to lie. So hopefully once the guys show up, we have some good barbecue in our system. That'll be good. Morning, everybody. Uh, it is currently day four of our five.
uh, day trip here in Las Vegas. Uh, currently, it's just about almost our quarter to about quarter to eleven in the morning. Uh, me and the guys were up pretty late last night. That's again why I'm talking quietly because yeah, we're not in it. Um, we do have plans to possibly. Um, go to Caesars, maybe over to the Luxor for the HyperX Sports Arena, which I hope to get some footage of that, but I wouldn't be surprised if there's not that much footage today. We are pretty, <laughs> we're pretty zoned out of it. So, you guys will see whatever comes next. Alright guys, we are here, back in New York, New York at the food court where I had 48 the crepe, me and uh, my boy Duffy. We are here sitting at the, what is it? Uh, the Broadway Burger Bar. About to shout out on some good stuff. You guys see, uh, Duffy's got his bacon cheeseburger. Here, take a bite of that real quick, my man. I want to see how that tastes. Oh, a little ketchup. Never been a fan of ketchup on a burger, personally. No. Not me. It's not me. Good? Yeah, alright. Why don't you get me in the... Oh, yeah. oh yeah, I was gonna say a couple a couple napkins would be a good idea. Yeah, but for me, I got the uh, barbecue bacon burger, and it is a monster. This looks exactly as big as I did at Tropicana. Like that's how oh, yeah. big this thing looks. This thing is huge. Oh yeah, that will do it. All right, let's see if I can get the handles right here. Yeah. Mind holding that, Duffy? Sorry. Shot. Kind of go a Guy Fieri technique on it. Punch over. Mmm. Mmm, that's really good. Hell yeah. That was phenomenal. 10 out of 10. We'll eat again. Hey, what's going on, guy? <laughs> of course, I lose the lighting. Uh, the weather. There we go. Hey, guys, sorry about that. <laughs> so, um,. Bit of an update, it's currently about almost, about, I think, 4.30, going almost on 5 p.m. back in the room of Excalibur. Uh, as you guys might be able to see, I am completely all alone in the hotel room. Um, that's because the guys, all the, all the other guys are downstairs right now, Excalibur, uh, shooting some craps and everything like that. I decided I wanted to take a little bit of a break on gambling. I've never been that much big of a gambler, but I decided to take a little bit of a break, but... That does not mean I'm going to be bored. I still got a lovely view of Excalibur. You know, it's kind of getting a little bit murky, which is rare uh, for this city. And at the same time, I also am prepared because being that it is Sunday, July 19th, some of you may know that today is WWE's Money in the Bank. Obviously, I can't show that to you guys, but I figured, you know, that's something that I'm a big fan of. Always been enjoyable with WWE in the past. I'm a big wrestling fan, everything like that. And I am ready. I got my, you know, my set. Uh, my uh, my brother let me borrow his MacBook. Thank you, Pete. Set up and ready. Got some snacks. Got some beer and drinks. I'm gonna have fun doing my own thing for the next four or five hours. I uh, might join up with the guys later on. We'll see. And uh, yeah, so we'll see what happens with you next time. Hey guys. Uh, welcome back to the video. It's officially the fifth and final day of our Vegas trip. About currently 8.30 in the morning. Uh, we have to be checking out of our hotel at about 11, but our flight is until about 11 tonight. So, uh, once, you know, once these guys can get awake and everything like that, um, we'll be packing up all of our stuff and taking over to my folks' place at the Tropicana. Uh, and then spend the last couple hours on Vegas. So I'm hoping to get at least the last couple of good hours of footage for you guys. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this train wreck. Yeah. All right, hey guys, it's about three hours later. Currently, everybody is, uh, we all got our luggage and everything checked out from Excalibur. Heading over next door to the Tropicana and my parents room. We're going to drop off our luggage with them uh, while we have fun for the last couple hours of our trip before we have to go on our flight. So we have a five minute walk. At least it's better than nothing.
Hey guys, um, as you can see, um, it's definitely later in the video. As you guys can see outside, it is currently pitch black out there. Um, and yeah, we are back at the airport. Um, me and the rest of the game. Obviously, some of the guys went to get food and things like that. Some of her just waiting. Um, kind of to give you a bit of synopsis of stuff that you missed, obviously. Um, I hope you guys at first enjoy that footage of all the stuff from the Bellagio and Caesars. It was really nice. Um, the reason there was such a big time gap is because we basically just ate at restaurants that we already did earlier on the video, so I didn't really want to, you know, create anything, you know, repetitive. Anyway, like I said, guys, we're just waiting for a flight. It takes off um, at 11.25. It's a bit after 9, I think. Let me check. It is, yeah, 9.10 to be exact. So, like I said, we're going to be waiting for the next hour or so. Hopefully, it won't be too horrendous. And the next time that you guys see me, we will more than likely be back home in Cincinnati. Hey, guys. Well, as you can see by the decor, officially back home. It is currently just about a little bit after 8 o'clock in the morning. Uh, so, I wanted to record this outro before I forgot. And one thing that stood out to me was something that my mother asked. And she always asks, you know, as parents do, if I enjoy the trip. So, did I enjoy the trip? Let's see. I'm down $600. Sleep deprived almost every single night we were there. Questioned my moral safety once or twice. But would I do it all over again? Maybe change up the room charter, but I wouldn't regret it for the world. I'll see you guys next time. This is Man the Authority, signing off for now.